Welcome back to Queen City News. It has been a month and a half since this fire at a scrap metal plant sent smoke billowing through several neighborhoods in West Charlotte. Yeah, the cause of the fire at the Southern Metals plant off of Wilkinson Boulevard is still not known, but the company thinks it started by accident. Well, today we learned more about some violations the company is now facing because of that fire. Queen City News reporter Will Lewis live in West Charlotte with the details, Will. Well, Brian, we've learned that Southern Metals has was issued a citation from the Mecklenburg County Air Quality Commission, and it's not the only violation here on the property. Now, like we said, this all started with the fire on March 6. It was reported in the afternoon and burned several hours, sending heavy smoke into the air. Now, on March 13, Charlotte Fire inspected the Southern Metals property on here on Donald Ross Road and found their storage piles to be too high. Now the current fire code is 20 feet for those piles. And then on March 23rd, an air quality commission inspector came to the property unannounced to inspect and check the procedures regarding flammable material in those scrap piles, things like gas tanks and other fuel tanks. The company said that they have inspections in place, but nothing was in was documented. So on April 18th, Southern Metals was issued a violation of the county open burning rule and the nuisance rule. Part of the corrective action calls for a report from the company to the Air Quality Commission documenting ways to prevent a fire like the one on March 6 from happening again. That report also must include written procedures on scrap inspection process, the records keeping system for documenting those inspections, and an employee training uh, and an employee training plan. Now, the violation also could result in a monetary fine, but right now the commission says they're waiting to give the company time to respond. They have until May 19th to do that. We're live in West Charlotte. Will Lewis, Queen City News.